What's up everybody? This is John from Cyberworks. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect the Kepler Server 6 to the PLC. Now I know there's a lot of videos out there that kind of have a lot of lessons, but nothing really quick, simple, and easy just to pull the tags. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reinitialize my Kepler Server right here so I reinitialize because I only have a demo so this is a two hour demo you can reinitialize every two hours so once we reinitialize this we're going to go ahead and go to Kepler server itself give it a second so you should see something like this right there's nothing here all right the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a channel right so I'm going to click and add a channel in my channel, since I'm collecting, connecting to Ellen Bradley, I'm gonna pick Ellen Bradley through the ethernet. I'm gonna click next. You can name this whatever you wanna name it, right? So I can name this as a lab Ellen Bradley, maybe. All right, my network adapter, I'm gonna keep at default. You could change it to whatever, if you have a preference over network, you could change that there. I'm gonna click next. So I'm gonna leave this alone. So write only latest value for all tags and do the cycle of 10. Right, uh, my floating point values, I'm gonna replace mine with zero. I think it comes with unmodified. I'm gonna replace it with zero. Okay, this is it, right? So it gives you the whole summary of what's con been configured. I click finish. All right, so now you notice that right here I have a lab AB, but now we still have to add a device to this. So I'm gonna click to add a device. I'm going to name mine a 5370, that's my Compact Logics. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to select the Compact Logics. I'm going to click Next. Okay, right here, this, this gets confusing, right? So the first portion, I'm going to go ahead and put the IP address. I'm going to leave one. The next portion, I do not need, so I'm going to delete. And then CPU slot, I'm going to put as zero because mine is zero. If you have one, you put one. I'm going to click next. The rest of this stuff, I'm going to literally click right through it. Make sure your port is 44818. Right now, uh, database import method right so sometimes if you have a don't have access to the controller you could actually import it from file if you have a tag file I have access to my controller so I'm gonna leave it as create from device I'm gonna click next 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 hold on next click finish all right so now we have our PLC all right now to accessing the tags dynamically right so you don't have to write every single tag if I right click on this and I go to properties and I go to tag generation you're gonna see create tags okay if you do not see this go into your runtime and connect to your runtime mine is already connected but let me show you what it looks like with it being disconnected so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect so right now my runtime is disconnected if I go here back to my properties and tag generation you notice that this generate tags thing is not here okay so we're going to go ahead and reconnect yes no I don't want to save changes right now all right so we got this back to properties back to check generation I'm going to click it once and I'm going to click OK give it a second boom it pops up right so it gives me my program tags Right, all my stuff in my small little program. Right, but now here, if you click on this, you don't get much, right? So you have this, it will tell you basic, basic stuff. Right, no matter what I click. Counters, I know I have counters running. Same thing, nothing. Okay, to access these tags, you go to Tools, Launch OPC Quick Client, or right here, Launch OPC Click Quick Client. All right, now if I go in and I maximize this, I should start seeing my tags uh, with the values, right? So 5370, let's see, system, 
All right, we got some stuff on the system. All right, uh, not yet. Global, there we go. Okay, so in global, right, you're gonna notice I have changes starting to happen. I should have some counters here in a second. Okay, so we got timers. I got a couple timers there that are moving, they're dynamic. Where's my counter? So there's my counters. There's my counter accumulator value right here. It's counting up. So if I look at my program, there it is, right? So counter zero is accumulating. Let me minimize this right here. So you see the eight, nine, right? So we have the data. Now we can control these tags as well, right? So on my main, I have a, a on my main, I have a start program, right? So I'm gonna go minimize this, and if I go into my start program, there it is, start program, right? So right now it's one because the PLC is running. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do side by side, or attempt to do side by side, that's fine. If I right click this tag, and I go synchronize right, and I write value of zero, I hit apply, the program stops, right? So you, we could literally modify these values directly in Capper. Okay. All right, so hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you guys. I know I, I had a little bit of a hard time to get to this point, but yeah, at this point, I mean, you'll have a tags, everything that's in your controller, you'll have it right in your Kepler. Thank you.